3 Ply Podcast, episode 35. I'm Angie. I'm Irene. And I'm Joyce. And we're glad you could join us today. We're going to speed things up a little bit and run through our podcast a little differently today. And we're going to start with, what did you finish? Well, I think I finished the same thing you did. We did. Angie. We finished the same thing. Now, this is my third bad oyster. This that is looks my like third a uh, rag yes. right now. On camera, they look very, very similar in color. Yeah. Yeah. But they're really not. It is the same colorway, Malabrigo Rios in uh, Arco Iris. Yes. Yeah, very cute. And which one is this for you? Because you've done three. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're both on number three. And I do mm -hmm. kind of want to make one more, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, so it's the same color, but this has no dye lot to it. So ours is, yeah. in, in up close, hers is a little more subdued. I think yeah. yours is brighter. Mine's brighter. Yeah. So, and it's the exact same color. Yeah. So um, there's going to be a cutting party at uh, Betsy's shop. And I and the girls. Oh, network. Yes, we're going to, <laughs> we're going to show how we cut it. So people can come with their finished project. We will cut them together and you can see. How they unravel that should be fun. That'll so be fun. we'll insert a video. Uh, that'll be uh, on Saturday, November 3rd, and this episode will be released on November 13th. So we're kind of juggling things around so that yeah. uh, we can fit all this in. But we will um, we will show that and we'll show how we cut them. And then we're hoping people will show up with theirs finished, ready to cut. And Yeah, otherwise we're just cutting ours, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I'll show you, you show me. <laughs> Oh, you. You show me. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, other... Hi, here we are at Elgin Knitworks, and Angie is helping Lorraine with her bad oyster. We are going to cut that sucker right down the middle. Angie has found the middle by counting ten stitches into the into the bad oyster. Okay. Um, Which one? This one? Uh, we know, but look at, let me show you. This? Mm -hmm. yeah, I can put it here we go. The surgery has begun. Wait, wait, wait. Stay in here. Yeah. Stay right in the center, just like the railroad tracks. Stay right in the railroad tracks. Okay, so come here. So I, when I sent them, they know that I didn't. I have to stand. Okay. Okay. So. Oh yeah. Okay. Why don't you start going? Yeah. Once you get moving, it's not hard at all. So it's just making that snip. Stay right in the railroad tracks there. Now Lorraine has made her bad oyster with fingering weight yarn using a size four needle. that I did was uh, I finished a couple of hats. It was the on the slopes pattern that Elgin Knitworks, um, they wrote that pattern. I love it. And I think I, I showed uh, the start of the little boy one uh, with Malabrigo Arroyo in sport weight uh, yarn. And then I did a fuchsia one in Rios worsted. I had to give the hats to the grandchildren because now it's cold and they need to cover up their heads. But I'll insert a picture of the two. Yay. And they love the hats. Oh, yeah. They're very they're cute with the two balls. They're <laughs> super cute. That's cute. I haven't oh. seen them yet, so I can't wait to see the picture. Yeah. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. And I finished 
I had taken these to Ryan back and I didn't finish them while I was there. I finished them on my on my trip home. Those are cute. And these are Fingerless Smiths. It's a pattern from Cascade and I also did it in the Malabrigo. And they're so cute. I did them a little bit longer. That's the they're Cascade so pattern? That's the, uh, yeah, you know, that's the Cascade pattern. It looks like the fairy. Uh, it looks like fairy. fairy yeah. yeah. Nope. That was Cascade. I wonder what's different Very, very them. cute. And I can roll them down too. a little bit. Love them. And then very the nice. other thing I finished is the cumulus blouse. The girls had worn those theirs on a previous episode. And I finally finished mine. Look how pretty. This is done in the folio. And again, this oh is my the gosh. cumulus blouse. This is so beautiful. By yeah. Petite Knits. And, and surprisingly, it's yeah. blue. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking. And this is definitely one that I would make again. And I did put tea um, some decreases in so I'd have a little bit of waist shaping, but I think next time I would leave the um, more of the decreases out just so it's more of a, a layering piece. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it turned out great. It's very, very comfortable. Yeah. And I, I really, cute. really like it. Really and cool. I like that yarn. So Yeah, the folio yeah, yarn is. Would you yeah. use the same yarn? Because I, I was wondering it. whether I the same yarn. what happens if you change the yarn. Like if you use just fingering weight of some other I don't think it would company. be as drapey. Yeah, that's well, the Well, it may not, but I, I did consider, because I think the original pattern calls for the Carrie Mo Mohair Mo Double. Yeah, Mohair Double. And um, being that it was, we did wear it at Rhinebeck, or I wore mine at Rhinebeck on Sunday, the, the other, I mean, it did keep me warm, but I'm thinking the Mohair might be a little more toastier for me. Oh, yeah. oh so okay. So it's, I, it's I might warmer. Consider, it's a yeah, warmer. I think it would be warmer. I don't know if okay. it would be as comfortable for me to wear the Mohair as it is to that. Because I'm very Itchy happy wise. with the folio. In fact, yeah. I think we need to put those projects out there uh, on Ravelry so people can see. Yeah, yeah. I think the drape Otherwise, is you know, how do you know... Um, yeah, it's right. a, it's a very it's a very nice sweater, but I want to see um, if the mohair would be too warm or not. But for me, okay. I'm always cold, so yeah. All right, she's a little warm. icicle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so everybody did what they finished. Right. So now we're going to go to what are you knitting? Well, I've got to talk about that and uh, no bare feet, so I pass. Okay, and I will go. And I'm not knitting; I'm crocheting. Well, you are the hooker. I am the hooker. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Hooker! Um, oh, I'm sorry, I just can't call you that. Oh, choice. Oh, but Irene can. Wow. <laughs> no problem. Okay, it's so. It's cute. It is um, cute. It's a term of endearment. Back to what did I finish? I'm, I sent Irene some pictures. I didn't want to take them off my desk. I made a bunch of those felted pumpkins. Oh, yeah, they're so yeah. cute. And the cutest little crocheted acorns yeah, oh that my, you crochet oh, them really cute. and then you use real acorn tops and glue them to the top. So that's going to be picture inserted. Okay. But those, I didn't want to take them off my desk because everybody likes them. So that's nice. um, so back to what am I knitting? I'm crocheting because I'm the hooker and my niece is having a baby and it's a boy. Oh, look at cute. that. I love the colors in this. So, oh, it seems like a warm, yeah, yeah it's blanket. nice. It's just the perfection. Yeah. And I just used teal and white. And I used Perfection because it's got to be washable because, you know, babies throw up. And, and you'll really like um, just finish yeah. this skein and then you're I done? I think I'm going to finish this skein and I have enough to go around one time in white. And I think I will do that and just be done. I think it's going to be just perfect for, like, the car seat mm -hmm. or the store right, or right. whatever. So, perfect. And while um, they're still tiny, it's still perfect. Yeah, yeah. And, and I buy her a gift anyway. This is just my little extra something. And I'll probably knit baby hats. And, yeah, very and cute. Stuff, so. Very cute. That's that. Nice. Nice. Okay. What else? And that's all I have for what are you knitting. Okay. I have a couple of things. Um, oh, and I actually, what did I finish? I did have one other thing. And the girls know about this. My son works um, on a local farm here and they do a farmer's market. And a couple of weeks ago, it was really, really cold. And I'm at work and he sends me this picture of this woman with his hat on. <laughs> and I have no idea who this woman is. And underneath the picture, it says, Nerma needs one. So, and of course we were traveling at the time. I said, you know, I'm traveling two out of the next three weeks. I don't know when I'm gonna get Nerma a hat done. So on our first trip, I actually took the hat. I finished it when I when I had gotten home. And I ran a little sort of picture of Nerma wearing the hat and she did Hi, she did get permission for us to put her out there on the podcast 
and uh, it oh, turned out sweet. really, really cute. And there's also a picture of my daughter wearing it I, because I wasn't sure whether Norma was going to agree to let me <laughs> use her on the podcast, but that's really cute. So thank you for saying that again. Yeah. Um, and the hat is so cute. And um, did I bring, oh, I actually brought the pattern. Now this is actually a free one on Ravelry and it's just a cable hat. Oh, what's the name of it? The cable hat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cable hat. Let's go. Cable hat makes sense. And it's by Dora Stevenson. So do you have to actually like do cables on it? Yeah, but they're easy and it's every six rows. Oh, that's not bad. So there is the picture of the hat. Love and it. you got it off of Ravelry. And I just got it off of Ravelry. Oh, it was fine. So I did start another one for myself. I was getting it to match my fingerless mitts. So I think on camera it looks like it. That's what camera. I'm knitting. Is it one skein of Rios for that hat? Um, well, I had already had this balled up and I don't remember using it for, for something else, but I don't have enough to finish it. So, okay. and I do have leftover from this, but it's not really a perfect match. So I really don't know what to do. So I'm gonna go back to Elgin Networks and see oh, if I can find what something very similar. What if you uh, did a row? I think that's what I should have done from the yeah. very beginning, but yeah. I'm like, nah, it'll be enough. Well, it's not oh. enough, so. I may have to end What up about from it here out. on? Okay, it Try says it, yeah. 220 yards. Yeah, well, Cascade 220. And well, I don't that's what the were from. I don't know if I would buy another. No, I was Oh mm -hmm. my gosh, Miss Perfect. <laughs> so, Honestly, it's true. Come on, Joyce, just. No, look how different. Ay, ay, ay. See, I, <laughs> Angie, what do you think? Don't you think she should try? So, what's the difference if I have to rip <laughs> a little so bit of so the whole thing? <laughs> Switzerland. <laughs> Switzerland. Okay, so the other thing I'm knitting is the mittens from the Telly Bean Knits Knit Along for the oh mystery gosh, knit for the so mittens. Cute. Now I am way behind on these. I actually I think a lot of people are done because Clue Four is already out. So I started these on Wednesday and I worked on them again last night. And let me tell you, they are so stinking cute. Now are you doing them one at a time? I'm doing one at a time. Is this your first one? This is my first one. Oh my, my god. god, I've never Look seen anything how cute. cuter. Okay, so wait. you're making the same mitten twice. That would match Christy Glass's uh, sweater. And there oh, the one with the unicorn on it? <laughs> it matches the cutest. And I actually had beads. I don't know why I had them, but I had them. So I actually put the beads in. The only thing I didn't do, one of her options was a uh, Latvia braid. Mm. But because I'd never done it before and I was really behind, I thought, oh, maybe another time. So I just have, I don't know, maybe 10 more rows to do. And those, those are found. so cute. Oh, my gosh. My mother-in-law, my mother-in-law is living with me for the time being. And she just can't go over them. I may have to oh give them to her. Oh, my gosh. Because, oh, my goodness. Well, because she's they just, are beautiful. She's just so delighted And the yarn them. is from Sun Valley Fibers. The yarn is from Sun Valley Fibers. And, and you do know that Jeanette was at Rhinebeck. Yeah. We were trying to find we her. So How do you them. find her? 40,000 people Hi, Jeanette. there. Right, 40,000 people. And yeah, I don't know if we mentioned that on our Rhinebeck episode. There was 40,000 yeah. people that went through Rhinebeck that weekend. But yeah, Minus I one. Know. Minus one. <laughs> <laughs> Minus one. <laughs> but yeah, so cute. So um, this is what I plan on doing the rest of the day. Okay. Awesome. So Because I need, I think the, the Cal ends November 10th. Oh so my I gosh, really yeah, you got to get going. Two yeah. weeks to go, but I should be able to finish Those are them. so yeah. cute. But so darn cute. So delighted with them. And they're really cute. That's what I got. Okay. All right. So we are moving along to No Bare Feet. Oh, you know me. Oh, you know me. Love this segment. Uh, anyway, I wonder um, why. <laughs> you may recall that I uh, finished the Turtle Pearl socks on my Rhinebeck trip. Yeah, Very so cute. And then I also managed to get another pair. I've never seen, seen anyone more. extend a skein of yarn like you. Well, she I'm wondering, sack. don't other people do this? It's like, I feel really good about taking... And you should, because I've got tons. I have tons of those balls. I'm like, and all you need these? is just stuff to embellish. And next thing you know, then if, for example, a $30 skein of yarn right. for one pair of socks becomes two with mm -hmm. stretching a little bit. And uh, lo and behold, I feel like uh, I'm getting my money's worth. Then. Well, and you look, are. these these yeah. socks look like they have lips. <laughs> <laughs> See, they kind of look like. Can and that is the umbrella toe that Kay of the Bakery Bears has in one of her um, patterns. So, so I, sticky cute. But you know what? I like it because I like to do the 
cuff down. Mm -hmm. And then this actually gives me that umbrella toe that I like. So, so cute. Yep. What the heck? Very Always cute. changing that up. Then I am knitting the unique, the two ball unique. Oh, they so came pretty. in like a little box and then, uh, so I started these and I'm at the point where I usually go, well, I always use a US one. I know I've been um, pinged about what needle I'm using, but it's always US ones. It would be very rare for me to go into a different size needle and uh, about six inches, you know, for the cuff. I, you go seven, don't you? I go. And you don't go anywhere. <laughs> I, I, I even if I can, no, if I remember can, they were this big. <laughs> if I can get to eight, I will. Whoa! Eight. But for the reason because I don't know what to do with all these little balls. Oh are. yeah, but I think if you do six, I could, then you could, could go for certainly get enough. Right. So now I'm thinking that maybe I'll insert an orange. Right. And package. that's what I also have to. I have to invest in the solid colors yeah. to go with. Because all Absolutely. Mine are better. And all that's why this Jawal yarn, yeah. it said Betsy's, they got different colors. Uh, and, you know, I call them my egg rolls. Those are <laughs> yeah, good. It looks like yeah. egg roll. <laughs> so, and I love the striping. And look how uh, slowly but surely it kind of changes. There's some gradient that's effect so to awesome. it. Yeah. yeah. So. And actually, um, when I was in Connecticut bidding um, Knit and Pearls, they actually did carry the unique. Really? They yeah. They in the skein and in the boxes with the two. Well, I think that you that had matched. problems when you had just the one skein. I don't think they, those are really meant they did to well, be identical. They, act, they didn't match up. Right. They were slightly off, probably mm, maybe 10, 11 rows they yeah. were. Yeah. And that's why I think this is just such a great it's idea. Awesome. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. No thinking and no rolling even. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. you know, yeah. it's already yeah. ready to go. That's dance. perfect. So, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry I didn't get that. Okay. And for me, so the last time I showed you these, they were they were quite big. And I ended up ripping them all out. I just thought, this oh, is not my God, Joyce. She's a ripper. Oh, my God. I'm a hooker and she's a ripper. <laughs> and me? She's a sock crazy woman, <laughs> super crazy lady. Um, but I just didn't think they would fit him. So I took them out oh my God. and I restarted oh, them. Those are so crazy. really no further than I was before, but I am gonna I'm gonna stop here and start doing the uh heel. The heel and gusset. Yeah. So what were those for? Zachary. And then remember I'm gonna do his girlfriend nice. with the I'm gonna actually do hers in the gold. Well he's Velvet the knight in shining armor. Oh, well there you go. <laughs> These look like puzzle pieces. Oh, they're, they're so, so cool. cool. They're so cute. Yeah. And I got that Love. little bit of color work in there, which I'm, they would be I'm good so for your fond school. of. Yeah, yeah. That's my school. Oh, colors. yeah. Actually, they are. My so if he colors. doesn't want them, you can give yeah. them to me. <laughs> no, Zachary's foot is much bigger than him. <laughs> God, I hope so. So, anyway, that is my no bare feet. So, oh, hopefully, awesome. she'll have those done soon because I really got to get rolling. I like the feel of that yarn. Yeah, too. Christmas is right yeah. on the corner. Yeah, and that's all. Um, I think that's a Libria for the gold and knitted wit. New, mm, knitted wit. Oh my gosh. It's on the, oh, my, it's on the tip of my tongue. Is it the rock candy? Bl rack, rock black candy. rock candy or yeah. per, yeah. I, think I, think black, right. I think black rock candy. And um, yeah, very nice. They turned out really cute. Um, That's what I got. All right. I'm also going to be knitting, you know, every year I do the little gift to go on top of the cookie basket that we do mm -hmm. for all the administrators. And I have to do 13. And the first year I did, uh, first year I did nothing. The second year I did uh, little mini sweaters. And oh, I remember this. Yeah. That's right. I'm a sweater. I'm a sweater. <laughs> Then the, the third year I did um, mini Christmas stockings. Yeah. I'm a sock knitter. <laughs> and then this year I'm going to crochet snowflakes. Oh, so, that's so cute. cute. Yeah. So I think that's just, yeah. it's quick. It'll go all fast, white. all yeah. white. Yeah. I'm going to dip them in the starch and pin them out and they'll be crispy and cute. So oh. um, actually, um, Make some extra. Deanna from, uh, from Knit Night on Wednesdays at mm -hmm. Elgin Networks, sent me a free pattern that she used a couple of years ago and I think she said she made a hundred and something oh or my more. God. Anyway, wow. she was giving them away in oh. groups. These people are getting one each. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'd say um, that's enough. she shared a free pattern with me, which yeah. I thought was really great that she knew worked well and she's a lovely girl. Yeah, yeah she's, she's really very quiet. quiet. And that's um Hi Deanna. Hi Deanna. Hi. She's so and cute. Cute. Cause every time I do buy ornaments I buy three mm -hmm. for the three kids. Oh, okay. Okay. So, uh, weird. But. All right. So, we are going to move on to Don't Tell My Husband. Shh. 
Should I begin? You may begin. All right. While I was away at Rhinebeck, I did a pre-order with Freckled Whimsy. And uh, this is the Peppermint Mocha two-ply fingering. So it's self-striping yarn for socks. I can't so tell you so the color. Pretty it is. makes me want to drink hot chocolate. Yeah. Very and have good. a little candy cane in there. It's not, you know oh, what I love just, about it? It's Christmassy, but not like traditional. Right, Christmas. right. It's got this like kind of old time Christmas look. To it. Vintage, yeah, vintage, which I love. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's just beautiful. Yeah, and this uh, like seafoam green. Yeah, like a gingerbread. Oh my God, I love it. Yeah, so uh, I'm very happy about that purchase. Not sure whether I'll start a pair of socks right away with this or wait for sure. next year. I would love to know. It's not <laughs> Yeah, like she's gonna. She's not. Yeah, what's she gonna do? We'll They'll be see. done on the next podcast. <laughs> Wait to see. We shall see. Yeah. I don't really want pressure on me. I feel like no we're pressure. always under pressure. No pressure. Yeah. I'll You're just it. gonna do it anyway. I know. Oh, oh I'm crazy. crazy. I'm gonna do this one. <laughs> well, I kind of been being very bad lately. So I have quite a few. Things. Okay, just before you start, I'm out. I got nothing. <laughs> it's yours. Let's see. So let's see. <laughs> I'll start with this da, one. Da, 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 okay, I bought this da, 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 da. pattern. Um, it's um. Oh, that's from Espresso. Espresso. Oh, Espresso. Oh, all those women are oh, just the cooler cool. side of warm. I think I have yarn for that. Yeah, love so, that. That's very right. classy. Let's see what you bought. Let's I like see what you bought. Well, love I bought. This beautiful oh. burgundy color because matches your hair. Oh, it Angie. is um, simply worsted. I think simply worsted. Simply natural. Simply natural. Oh, nice. So, oh, that's yeah, a color nice 53. Yarn. Color fifty three. It's like a burgundy color. Oh my gosh, kind of. See, it's gonna go good with my hair. Awesome. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, this I can't is the yarn that you really like. Yeah. You've done a few things. I've done a lot of okay, this shirt. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I love, love, love the shirt. Yeah, I agree. So, anyway, it's gonna take two, and then I'll decorate it up and I'll wear it. Awesome. So you can see how cute it is. So that was one thing that I bought. I was really excited about that. That's cute. Yeah, let's see. Okay, and then this one. Irene, you know, she made that um, uh, Second, oh, Avenue. Second Avenue. Avenue. You know, Second Avenue. Oh, Can you here. See that? Okay. Second Avenue. That is a big hit. Yeah. People love this pattern. Okay. okay, wait till you see my colors, okay? Oh, I think oh. I got a picture of this. Okay, this is Lucky Penny. Love that. Oh, From, is um, that nice? What, what's the yarn? Um, uh, knitted knitted with. Knitted with. Haven't you used it before? Oh, yes. Oh, okay, yes. It so so it's Lucky Penny and it's got like rust and turquoise and brown and cream. Okay. And so it's also going to have gold. Lovely. Oh, because you have awesome. turquoise. Oh, my God. And it's all caked up already? Yes. Where did you go? the girls to work, did you? Cream. <laughs> Lovely. And oh, just awesome. Just kind of, you know, again. Wow. Color. And Look at how well that goes. Um, all of those are Allegria. Except so, for the knitted with. Except for the knitted with. So okay. everything else is Allegria. Oh, Very right. Yeah. All done. So there it is. Okay. That's, that's ready to go. That is a tower. Beautiful. That is oh, look beautiful. at you. All together. So, wow. Yeah, that's that's going to awesome. be mine. And um, when do you think you're going to start this? Like, I don't right, know. It's you like probably want to do it right away, don't I you? I do yeah. because it's, it's, you know, it's a long process. Yeah. And she's really shocked her. Hers. You I know mean. what I I prefer a rectangular shawl over a triangular yeah. shawl because I like to wrap my shoulders in it. Yeah. So I kind of am really obsessed with that long. Yeah. And when I saw yours, I was like, oh, yeah. got to make Sold. it. Sold. That's what she Sold. said. Sold. 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 Oh my gosh, boy, we're making enough noise with your paper bag. Sorry. Okay, so I'm going to be making. There's a woman at my work um, who has just been diagnosed with cancer, oh, and I am going to make her some hats. And I asked her specifically what color she wanted, and she said black or gray, which, okay. But so I found this one. Oh, that's pretty. pretty color. This is real. Yes, this is the one you're going to use, the brand. Yeah. The brand is very creamy. And this color is called Plomo. Oh, 43. Blomo. 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 Oh, 43. So Very there you go. So that's yeah. going to be that. Yeah. And then well, the next thing I got. Oh, yeah, really quick. So, oh, yes. This. Oh, God, this is awesome. Oh, they found it at St. Okay. Yeah. This Barocco book, you can buy the patterns individually. In the book, it is not attractive. 
When you put it on, they had the store sample and it was gray and I put it on. Don't I have a picture? I think you have a picture. I'll have to insert that. It is it was so unbelievable. stinking It was so cute. you. So, so you. that's the pattern. Yeah, cute. It's like a long vest. It's sewn up on the sides. Aru? A-R-R. Aru, -R -R. yeah, that's what I was saying. A-R-R-O-U-X. Aru. Anyway, the yarn I am using. Check uh, this out. Yeah, yeah we showed that the other, uh, uh, one of the last podcasts. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, that's Baroque awesome. Baroque Brielle. Yeah. Uh, and I got the green because yeah, be perfect. who doesn't And how many did, skeins did you need? Some? Um, I'm doing the small, so I need seven. Yeah. And um, I think this is a piece that I'll wear like... Sure. Oh, that sure. is a standard. And you know, with the holidays here. coming, the green, yeah. St. Patrick's Day, yeah. the green, your hair, <laughs> your eyes, all of it. So I really liked the green. So that's what I decided to go with. Awesome. And um, yeah, so I spent a little, been shopping. You've been very yes. busy. So, you know, I'm off over Christmas break and Thanksgiving break from the school. Oh, so that's nice. I will have yes. some knitting time. And, okay. Well, we, we expect to see some progress. Yeah, yeah, I know, really. <laughs> We've decided not to go to Texas this year, so we're going to celebrate Christmas here. And okay. I'll have a lot of knitting time. Yay. So. That's good. Yeah. Okay, okay, what do we got? Is that it? So I think that's about it. Wow, wow. Right. it's yeah. a wrap, I I'm guess. Good. So. I'm empty over here. All right, and I'm, I'm good too. So, But um, we just want to thank you for joining us today. And, um, you know, get that knitting out. It's getting crisp and cool, and it's time to, yeah. time to start... Uh, Knitting up those Christmas gifts, holiday gifts, hostess gifts. Yeah, gotta start thinking about those things. So, and hopefully we can delay the uh, fall snow. of snow. Yes, we yeah. actually had snow last Saturday. I heard while we were gone. It mm -hmm. was so flipping crazy. <laughs> I walked. It was sprinkling, and I walked into Von Mar, my favorite store, and I went in to get a gift for my daughter, and I started to come out. It was like maybe spitting oh, a little, no. a little rain when I went in. I started to walk out. There were 50 mile an hour winds and it was snowing sideways. Like a, a wow. massive snowstorm. I was like, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I mean, I, I was in shock. It was like, what? It's October. Did you go back into the store? Yes, I continued. I, I felt that I had I just, more shopping to do. <laughs> I shopped in the purse section for a while. So, you know, spent a little more money and then it quit snowing and so then I left. And by the end it of the all day. Worked out. Yeah, I heard it was quick, but. Yeah, by the end of the day, it was sunny. It was, I, I, oh, only yeah, in Chicago um, land. Betsy's daughter sent us a video. She said, This is what's happening in Chicago land. I'm yeah. like, Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's like Mother Nature, Mr. Prozac dose. I don't know. <laughs> it was totally oh my crazy. Gosh. So, yes. anyway, we're so happy you joined us today. Keep on knitting, it's good for your health. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. You've got mail. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Joyce. <laughs> okay, we have a we have a woman that follows us on Instagram, and her name is Maggie, and she uh, sent me a message one day and said, "Hey, Joyce, can I send you girls a little gift?" So I said, "Sure, that'd be That's great." So special. Well, it arrived a couple days ago, actually, and it wasn't a bigger box. And I took this out and I told her we would open this on the podcast. So we're going to give it to Andy so she can open it up okay. and see what our little treat is. And Maggie's from Texas. Maggie's from Texas. <laughs> Best place ever. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Ready? It's pink paper. We knit in Texas, y'all. Yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> I want to go to Texas sure and knit. Is. Yeah. Oh, oh is that so sweet. sweet? What does the note say? Hey, three ply ladies. I thought you all might like these for your knitting bags. If you are ever in Houston or Texas, I would love to meet you. That says if y'all are ever in Texas. Yeah, come on, so Angie. <laughs> You all are my favorite podcasters. Maggie! Oh, thank you, Thanks Maggie. Thank you so much, Maggie, but I'm not going to put it so on my So what bag. if we I end up... I'm going to put it on my, sh my shoulder right So now. what if we were in uh, Dallas or something? Would you come from Houston to see us? Right, how far is that? It's a little bit of a ways. I bet it's far. Texas is a huge... It's a bit state. of a ways. Maggie just... I think know, Maggie will come visit. retiring there. Yeah. I'll let you know. <laughs> I guess I have I to know, I'm enjoy. retiring, oh. now, so no problem. Okay. Thank Thanks you, Mary. So Thank you very Maggie. much. So cute. Well, Angie, you need to get a little shorter. <laughs>
we tried screwing the can because we were a little, a little tilted and we could figure it out. So we're a little. Okay. I don't know. Ready? Uh, sure. 35. Are we ready? Yes. Mm. No. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Ready? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I can't see my hair because of the glare. So <laughs> I'm all worried. So it's all good. Whatever. <laughs> ready? You probably mm -hmm. got that way. Much no, no, okay. no, no, I don't want to see that. <laughs> okay. All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Hi, everyone, and welcome to. <laughs> see, out of practice. <laughs> out of practice. Yeah. Okay. We're three by podcast. Yep. <laughs> We're three chicks that. Rock. Three okay. old broads. <laughs> no. You didn't like that, did you? I remember when I thought that was a good name. No. Three old broads. Definitely not. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine what the viewership we would have? Can you imagine what people pull? They pull up three old broads thinking it's some kind of porno site. No. <laughs> <would be> like... <laughs> three young birds would be a porno site, maybe. I don't know. All right. All right. Ready? One, okay. two, three.